वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑनली एंकोलाइजिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस टूडे वी डिस्कस टॉप स्लीपिंग पोजिशन एंड पोस्चर फॉर एंकोलाइजिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस ड्यू टू दल्टर्ड पोस्चर एंड नॉक्टर्नल इंफ्लामेटरी पेन स्लीप डिस्टर्बेंस आर लाइकली टू ऑकर इन पेशेंट विथ एंकोलाइजिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस Periods of rest and inactivity can aggravate your ankylosing spondylitis symptoms. This makes sleeping a challenge. As the longer you are in bed, the more pain you may experience. Sleep on your back to ease ankylosing spondylitis symptoms. Many people find relief from their ankylosing spondylitis symptoms by sleeping on their back. The key to sleeping in the position is to maintain the natural curvature of their spine. Here are a few pointers if you want to give it a try. Avoid a large head pillow. Elevating your neck distorts your spine and can provoke joint pain. Your best option is simply to sleep without a pillow. But if the not work for you, try purchasing a slim pillow or using a folded towel. In general, you should also avoid tuckling pillow under your back or legs. be persistent if you are like most people you are prefer to sleep on your stomach or side switching to sleep sleeping on your back may feel awkward at first but don't give up after only a few nights try it for 2 weeks and if you still cannot fall asleep then experiment with other sleep positions until you find one that works for you purchasing a new mattress interesting mattress or inspiring mint mattress often sag as they age resulting in uneven sleeping surfaces do your spine a favor by purchasing a new mattress ever 5 to 7 years or if your mattress is showing any sign of sagging you can easily spot sagging area by tapping a piece of taut string across your bed as a general rule a firm mattress is best for people with ankylosing spondylitis but every person is different so make sure to visit a mattress store and try out a variety of option it's also a smart idea to purchase a mattress with a 30 day return policy in case your new mattress proves to not be as comfortable as possible you first thought leave your bed if you cannot fall asleep you cannot force yourself to fall asleep and staying in bed will likely increase your stress and further aggravate your ankylosing spondylitis symptoms While it may seem counterintuitive, I suggest you to get out of bed if you cannot fall asleep within 30 minutes. 
instead of brooding for hours engage in a relaxing activity until you feel sleepy for example you might try number 1 reading a book number 2 knitting or crocheting number 3 completing a crossword puzzle number 4 listening to calming classical music remember that certain activities can make it harder to fall asleep so when you get out of bed i just suggest you avoid the following watching television or using your phone the blue light from electronics can hinder your sleep by blocking the release of melatonin watching the news texting or checking facebook can also over stimulate your brain and increase stress level rigorous exercise it is true that certain exercise can relieve your excessive spondylitis pain but rigorous exercise makes it hard to sleep by temporarily rising your heart rate adrenaline levels and body temperature if you are restless one exercise option that can help you relax and relieve your pain is light stretching unhealthy eating certain food such as those containing sugar or high amounts of fat can keep you awake if you need to eat something try a snack that contains protein and calcium like a glass of milk get check for sleep apnea a 2020 study found that people with ankylosing spondylitis are more likely to suffer from obstructive sleep apnea this means that your sleep problems may not be due to your ankylosing spondylitis symptoms rather your airway may be restricted which leads to shallow or restricted breathing that can cause you to wake up constantly throughout the night if you are always snoring or if you notice frequent inter- interruptions to your breathing during the night consult with your doctor about sleep apnea sleep apnea is typically diagnosed by way of an overnight sleep a study called a poly somnogram common treatments for sleep apnea include number 1 weight loss number 2 quitting smoking number 3 face mask connected to a cpap machine or continuous positive airways machine number 4 a removable mouthpiece These three tips may not alleviate all your ankylosing spondylitis medication spondylitis symptoms but even if they provide you with a few more hours of sleep per week they are worth the time and effort tips to sleep better if you have ankylosing spondylitis 
Do you experience nighttime pain with ankylosing spondylitis? If, if so, you are not alone. Here are some simple suggestions for better sleep. Getting a good night's sleep is something you cannot take for granted. When you have ankylosing spondylitis, symptoms such as pain, especially in the second half of the night, can result in poor quality rest. A study published in May 2020 in the International Journal of Rheumatic Disease found that nearly 60% of subjects with ankylosing experience impaired sleep. Then, symptoms like stiffness can make your morning routine harder to manage. Top 6 Tips and Tricks Number 1 Tricks and Tips Call your rheumatologist. A study published in the July August 2019 issue of the Brazilian Journal of Rheumatology found that sleep disturbances were significantly higher in people with ankylosing spondylitis compared with controls without the condition. If back pain or other symptoms are interfering with your ability to get quality sleep, it's time to speak to your doctor. You need to look at sleep problems as a clue that your ankylosing spondylitis is not as well controlled as you would like it to be. Tips and tricks number two: shrink the size of your pillow to control posture. People with ankylosing spondylitis who sleep on large pillow may awake in the morning to find their head hunched forward when they stand up similar to the way that the pillow propped up their head while sleeping. For this reason, recommends using a thin pillow at night. You may even find it more comfortable to use no pillow at all the maintain better control of your posture. Tips and tricks number three. Stop propping up your legs to avoid body position changes. After a long day of dealing with ankylosing spondylitis, it may be tempting to a place below under the, your legs to provide some back pain relief and better sleep. But resist the temptation. Evenstein says that using a pillow to prop is, uh, up your legs to can alter your body position. Similar to the way that a large pillow behind your head 
can negatively affect your head and neck position. Tips and tricks number four. Firm up your mattress to ease ankylosing spondylitis pain. As any mattresses commercial on TV can tell you the quality of your mattresses can affect your sleep. A firm mattress is important to support your body's posture and ease pain. Even a mattress overlay on top of your current mattresses can help. Just don't rely on your mattresses to correct all your nighttime woes. All the mattresses in the world won't solve anything if you have fundamental issue with your back. While it's important to have a good quality of mattresses, if you night time pain persist it's best check in with your rheumatologist plan for enough hours to sleep to help ankylosing spondylitis when you have ankylosing spondylitis getting adequate sleep is even more important than it may be for other people. Ankylosing spondylitis is a systematic disease and as such causes significant systematic impact including fatigue. Getting adequate sleep is a way to mitigate this fatigue. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the standard for adults is between 7 and 9 hours of sleep every night create a better sleep habit by going to bed at the same time every night and waking up at the same time every morning it also helps to make your bedroom a place of quiet relaxation and keep out the TV laptops, tablets and other electronic gadgets. Tips and tricks number 6 Develop a morning routine to ease the stiffness. If you can't sleep at night, don't frustrate. it. Try planning a morning routine to address ankylosing spondylitis symptoms like stiffness, back pain and inflammation. Starting the day with stretching and movement. Conclusions Sleeping disturbance is a trouble in patients with AS compared to the healthy ones and inactive AS patients compared to the inactive ones. However, 
Sleeping position seems not to affect either sleeping disturbance nor disease activity in ankylosing spondylitis. Sleep is important to allow the body time to rest and heal. But sleeping can be difficult when you have chronic pain due to ankylosing spondylitis. What mattress is good for ankylosing spondylitis? Mattresses for ankylosing spondylitis. Since pain may seem more severe at night, you need a good foundation to decrease discomfort. Your mattress should be firm and definitely not sag but can be covered with a variety of relatively thin pads which cushions the mattresses distribute pressure evenly and are still comfortable. What kind of pillow is good for ankylosing spondylitis patient? Top cervical pillow regular is especially designed. A small contrast is recommended for the person who has been advised to sleep without pillow. Due to neck pain made of high quality view form design provide excellent support to the cervical spine. Please consult with your doctor before using these trick and trips for ankylosing spondylitis. Subscribe for more information. Thanks for watching. Here's my WhatsApp group number. Sasebi cake.